Hello, Scorpio. I hope that you guys are doing well. So this will be a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. We'll see what current energies come up for you guys. Um, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the message. Um, I definitely appreciate all the love and support and I send it right back out to you guys. All right, so automatically popping out the will of fortune in reverse for what you guys are currently focused on and what you guys aren't showing um what you guys are holding and that you guys aren't revealing to the rest of the world is two of cups so you guys want love but or there's someone that you guys are focused on, a love connection that you guys are focused on that's currently not going in your favor. Um, so you guys aren't showing to the world like you're not like talking about it. Because like right now, things are not working out in this connection. It's not moving in the right di direction regarding this connection. So you guys are just... You're keeping this relationship to yourself. Um, but you do, like, you have a lot of love for this person. So, but it's just things aren't working out currently regarding this connection. So, let's see. What is the current challenge regarding this connection? So, it's a lot of conflict going on it looks like I mean it looks like someone's in this one it's like someone's giving this person a headache like some this person is like obviously stressing out over this situation so it looks like your person is stressing out over this situation um And the thing is, is that, yeah, so it's like you guys are, it's like you have a lot of love for this person, but since this relationship is not like working out the way that you guys wanted to, you guys aren't, it looks like you guys are letting it go. And you guys are starting to focus on yourself. You're focusing on your finances. You guys are just, you're empowering yourself. You guys have, you're not focusing on this person anymore. You guys are, you just have like withdrawn your energy from the situation and just pulled it towards yourself. And this is paying off for you guys. So it's like financially, it's like physically, your your appearance is changing. Some of you guys are focusing on your appearance as well, your health. It's like your beauty. It's like things are changing in your life for the better. It's like you guys are elevating in life in general. And it's, this person is conflicted because they still have not spoken up. They still have not reached out to you despite... Um, receiving the signs, the messages, knowing that they need to reach out to you, but they know that they messed up in the past. So they're afraid to reach out to you because they see that you guys are like a total different person now that you're not accepting like the same nonsense that you guys accepted in the past and they have to come to you the right way. But they're afraid that you guys aren't going to be like that you're not going to accept them back. But like this person, it's like they really want to come back this time. Because they see you as like the person that they want to marry because they see you as like very kind hearted. It's like they realize that they messed up. Like they were like very judgmental. It's like in the past, this person is like, they were thinking from the mind frame, like, I'm going to hurt you before you hurt me. It's like, I'm going to get one up on you type of energy. And now they're like, I really messed up. 
because this person is like a very kind, generous, like their marriage material. And I s s messed up the situation. What are you not aware of regarding? What is Scorpio not aware of regarding this situation? What is, what is Scorpio not aware of? So you're not aware of that this person has been spying on you. Somehow this person has been getting information regarding you. And that it's like there has been delays, but you guys will be receiving a message from this person as well, despite the delays. Oh yeah, there's definitely, what you're not aware of Scorpio is that this person will definitely be sending you guys a romantic message. Um, and it's, it's going to be delayed. It's not gonna come in um, when you're expecting. It's been delayed for a lot of you guys. It's been very delayed, but it's definitely coming. This person is going to try to romance you guys back into their life. They're quite the charmer. Very attractive as well. Whoever you guys are dealing with. Um, coming back, roses. This person is very, like, they have a lot of passion towards you. I'm getting, like, the two of you, like, this person. It's like the two of you, there's a lot of chemistry between the two of you. Like, when this person comes back. And the thing is, it's like... They're in the Knight of Cups energy, so it's like, um, this is someone that's going to come in and sweep you off your feet. This is, you know, a very romantic type of energy coming in for you, whether it's going to be long lasting or not. Um, I don't see it yet, but they do have good intentions. But this is someone very romantic. Some of you guys could be dealing with another water sign. But this is someone who's very attractive. They do attract a lot of attention as well. Yeah, they, they're being, when they come back, they are being very honest. They want to clear the air with you. Um, they're coming back. They want to have a breakthrough in this connection by having open, honest communication. They're coming through to, like, coming in um, to have a new beginning in this relationship. And they know the only way for you guys to have this new beginning is for you guys to have communication with each other face-to-face. -face. It can't be over the phone. So you can expect this person to message you. Um, and the reason why this person will be messaging you is because I'm getting this person has been trying to get uh, information on you. And some of them have, like, they haven't been able to get the information that they've been, like, seeking on you. And so since they have been able to get the information that they've been seeking, they're going to message you. They want, uh, like, face-to-face -face communication with you in order for you guys to clear the air. Or maybe they're getting enough information to see, like, damn, look at what Scorpio's doing in their life. I fucked up. I want to make things right. Like, I made a bad decision. It's like, I misjudged this situation completely. I was over critical of Scorpio. Um, like, I was being egotistical in the past. Like, they're learning their lessons.
Okay, how? going to be a long lasting connection or what is, is, is this going to be a long lasting connection between Scorpio and this past person returning this Knight of Swords Seven of Pentacles I am picking up a completely new energy. Do you guys have two separate people in your life? Because what I'm getting is that some of you guys have someone that's younger than you and some of you guys have someone that's older than you. Or someone that's younger and someone that's older. A younger energy and an older energy. Because I'm getting that this is you. The Page of Pentacles here. And you're trying to decide where to invest your energy. Because you have here the king of swords, which is a king. Someone that challenges you intellectually. Someone who challenges you to be your best. Challenges you to be the best person that you can be. Um, someone who is being very patient with you. Who's patiently manifesting this relationship with you. And then you have someone from your past who's coming back to sweep you off your feet, who's been spying on you. This message from this person has been delayed time and time again. But this person is sort of immature. They're a little cocky as well. This is someone who can be a deep thinker as well. They have a tendency to um, isolate themselves as well. And that's only because they have a tendency to like kind of go deep within. But that's the thing that they love about you is that when you guys communicate, you are able to bring this person out of themselves. But see, this person gets you. And that's what you like about this person. If you guys haven't met this person yet, but I'm getting that you guys have met this person. This is two different people. And you're not really sure. You kind of are like a little overwhelmed by this. You're not sure where to invest your energy at this time. Because all of this is new to you. I'm getting like some of you guys have been single for some time and it's like you guys were waiting around for this person for a while and then it's like real love showed up in your life someone who was serious about you who they showed up in your life someone who challenges you guys um, mentally emotionally this is someone that you guys can depend on they're very wise logical you guys have great conversations with this person it's like really great this is someone who is amazing in your life but 
And they're being very patient with you. They're patiently trying to manifest this relationship with you. What do you need to release at this time? What should Scorpio release at this time out of their life for their highest good? What should Scorpio release out of their life at this time? What should Scorpio release at this time? The moon. So something being exposed to you guys, some secrets being exposed. Oh, um, what you guys need to release. So spirit is telling you guys, so someone that you guys have been, uh, what I'm getting is that you guys need to expose your emotions. If you guys have been, oh, yes, this is you. Oh, oh, oh my God, Scorpio. No. So your past person, Scorpio. If you guys, this is resonating for anyone who has two options right now. So your past person, if they come back, you guys, if you guys have someone new in your life and this, they're a king in the upright, okay? That means this is someone, don't message me if they're, if, the, if this person don't have they act right, if they not coming to you the right way, this ain't your person, okay? This is not your person. This is someone who is patiently trying to manifest a relationship with you. This is someone very wise, someone who loves to be in nature as well. Um, they're quiet, reserved, um, very loving and affectionate as well because by them in this picture having like these animals like around them, animals are attracted to people who are very like loving, nurturing and caring. Um, so this is like a provider, a protector, someone who's very protective as well. The King of Swords is someone who is pr very protective. Um, they might be slightly older than you, but this is someone who matches your energy. This is your significant counterpart. So both you and this person, you guys challenge each other, um, to be the best version of yourselves on a mental, emotional, soul level. You challenge each other to be your true, authentic selves. You guys challenge each other to search for the truth in life. This is your divine counterpart, the king and queen of swords. It's like despite the obstacles that you guys have um, been through in life, you guys search for the truth through all that you guys have been through in life. It's like you seek like the clarity of like why, you know, what was the purpose, the purpose of life. That's what you guys seek. And that's what you guys challenge out of each other, like how to make things better for the rest of the world. That's what you two, the two of you are meant to be in each other's lives. So this is someone who's patiently, man, they've been patiently manifesting a relationship um, between the two of you. So you guys have someone from your past that'll be coming back. This person has been delaying, messaging, a, sending a romantic message to you. Yes, this person does have good intentions. They do want to clear the air have a new beginning towards you but this is a night this is still someone who has learning maturing to do they're not on your level this is someone who is on your level this is your divine counterpart what spirit is advising you to do what they're telling you to release <laughs> they're telling you to open up to stop 
um, daydreaming about the way you feel about your king of swords here. Because some of you guys have realized that you have emotions towards your king of swords. Some of you guys have realized that you have feelings towards them, that your feelings towards this king of swords are deeper than you realize, like you, you, you realize that now. It's like you guys have realized that this person, this king of swords is your true love. Like you're realizing that it's, you guys have been reflecting on this relationship and behind the queen of swords is the, the ten of cups. You guys are realizing that this person is your wish fulfillment. You're realizing that with this king of swords, you guys will have everything. You guys will have true happiness with this king of swords. So what spirit is advising you guys to do is to open up and express the way that you guys feel towards this king of swords. Because once you guys do, it's like it's going to open. It's going to allow you guys to have um, your Ten of Cups. Your true happiness. Because the Page of Cups, they tend to just daydream. They tend to just fantasize. But with the moon being in reverse, that represents emotions being exposed. Something, you know, the moon is all about emotions. And then the queen of swords, she's very guarded. She can be very guarded because of all she's been through. She's very protective as well. But the queen of swords, she's actually more loving than the queen of cups. She really is. She will die for the ones that she loves. She will fight to the death for the people that she loves. And it's because she knows what it's like to go through pain and heartache. So that's why she keeps this, this tough exterior. And she comes across as a bitch but it's only to protect herself and to protect the people that she loves. But on the inside, she's really, she's really a, like a softy, like really that. And so that's why she has to pretend to be so hard on the outside. I mean, she is tough. She's learned a lot of life uh, lessons. She's been through a lot. To teach her to be tough. And now she has the king of swords to stand by her side to help protect her. So you're being advised to open up so that you can step into your ten of cups. Um, what am I getting? This is really good. Scorpio. Wow. And then your past person is in despair. They messed up. Because you're about to get married to your new person. So, I'm, oh my God. This past person is like, they, they waited too long. They waited too long. They really thought they had forever. They really thought that you were going to wait around for them. But they end up playing around and they, what they end up doing is giving time, giving enough time for your true love to come in and for you guys to realize who you were meant to be with. They gave time for you and your divine counterpart to truly have the happiness that you you deserve. 
So that's what ended up happening. And this person is about to be like, fuck, I fucked up. I just lost the love of my life while you're like, no, I, I wasn't the love of your life because you're not the love of my life. I'm with the love of my life. That's what's about to happen, Scorpio. So, um, this is the message that came through for you. If this reading resonates, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. I definitely appreciate all the love and support and I send it right back to you. Thank you.